Borderline Personality Disorder. Be sure to get yourself a Mr. BPD Keep On Keeping On mug. There's a description in the video description link thing down there. Every cup that you buy, 10% of that goes to me. It's not all about making money, it's just some about making money. In fact, I'm going to be being Mr. BPD Homeless Edition soon. Even though I keep saying that and yet I'm not homeless yet, life always has a way of, well, keeping on, keeping on. I always seem to be very blessed, I would say. I can't come on here and just bitch today. I do a lot of that, and it's kind of the whole format of the channel is just to bitch and rant. I'm starting to turn into what I hate. I challenge anybody, any psychiatrist out there that covers BPD topics, Mr. Dr. Grande, Extra Latte, I will challenge any of them to come on and have an actual discussion with me, either on my channel or I'm willing to go onto their channel, and we can discuss BPD in terms of you know, what they think it is, and then what it is when you actually have it. I think it'd be a very interesting video. Much like dick pics. Yes, that's right, we're going to talk about dick pics. I'm realizing that just dick pics in itself is enough for comedy gold. I don't need to elaborate any more than just dick pic. I'm sure that's all I need to say, and probably everybody's laughing already. And dick pics have become a bigger problem than... I don't know, they seem to be a problem lately. I've been watching a lot of movies where the females are always getting dick pics, so I mean, it's gotta be a big enough problem that mainstream Hollywood is, is putting it into films as a joke. So most scientific belief on these dick pics has believed that the individuals sending the pictures hate the women, don't like the women, that it's an assault. Why? Because most of these individuals think, oh, I'll send a picture of my big ass fucking dick. You know, I'll get all hard and send a picture. Now, what are you doing? You're getting all hard and sending a picture. Now that's an aggressive penis you're sending, okay? You're sending a picture of a penis that's like kicking ass, like an uh, angry penis. You send a picture of your little tiny little flaccid penis. They might find it adorable and cute. If there's anybody out there that does send dick pics often, if you're always sending yourself hard, try doing it soft and let me know in the comment section if that works out better for you. I think it will change your whole experience. I really do. And this is what people don't do. They don't think. They don't think about how other people are going to see what they're sending or take what they're doing. Like me, I have a face that always looks like I'm pissed off no matter what. I can be as happy as a clam in turtle shit, but I'm still going to look angry and so everybody always thinks I'm hostile. I'm much like the angry penis, so I've always got to try to like soften my look somehow so that I don't seem so aggressive. But then I come across as super creepy, so am I aggressive or am I super creepy? I have to decide in the moment which one's better. Depending on the situation, it's sometimes it's better to be seen as aggressive. Nobody will mess with you, they'll stay away. In other situations, you know, those people aren't going to be frightened by somebody aggressive. They're hostile to begin with anyway. If you're dealing with other hostiles, more hostility breeds more hostility. But, they get very creeped out, so just be creepied. I never thought that people were sending dick pics out of a malicious nature. I always figured that if a guy was sending a dick pic, he was probably stupid enough to actually believe that this was going to somehow woo the, the woman of his desires over to him. I never saw it as a hostile act, I saw it as a pathetic act of like, I've got nothing to offer but this, this, and ta-da, aggressive penis, and then it doesn't work the way they think it's going to work. I find it odd that the scientific community always saw it as a hostile act. That why would you think that that was hostile? I don't get it. I, I naturally, I, it just makes sense that it would be like towards somebody that you would desire. Like it would be like, I mean, I don't think these people are, are thinking of their penis as being hostile. I don't think most people walk around thinking of their penis as hostile. Stupid for sure, not hostile. And sending somebody a dick pic thinking that they're going to see that and then suddenly they're going to be wooed or aroused by you and then want to rip your clothes off and become your wife, that's just pretty stupid. That definitely sounds like a something that the penis would think of. For sure, yo. For sure, yo. This video was not supposed to be all about dick pics, but somehow we went there. How different the scientific community will see something as opposed to how the average citizen or person sees something. With borderline, they see it so much differently than the person with borderline actually experiences it. Just like they've always thought these guys were, were haters of women when in actuality they were just the opposite. 
they're now starting to realize that they did something where they like monitored like people's brains while they sent dick pics uh, science is weird the whole world's weird i mean who wants to do that who wants to hook people up to lasers and then have them have them <laughs> lasers and then have them send dick pics but all the scientific community had to do is just think about it from a guy's point of view. If a chick was to send you, like, a naked photo, that's a good thing. It's not hostile. I've never gotten a naked photo from a woman and been scared that they were going to come kill me or out to get me. Granted, men are weird and you never know. You're just dumb. Just really stupid. Can I offer one more suggestion? Not only should you send a non-hostile penis... But add some creativity to your normal dick pic. Maybe some lighting, some good lighting, some atmosphere. Set the mood. Women need more than just harsh light and a picture of your hard junk to get them wooed. You've got to do something special. Something that's going to pull at the heartstrings. I don't know. Maybe, you know, if it's around Christmas time, you can have the Christmas tree, the fire, you know, you've got the tree, the presents under the tree, there's a fire, it looks like it's snowing, you know, you got the right lighting to give that cold, wintry chill, and when you're looking at the picture, if you notice, down where the tree is, next to the presents, what is that next in the presents? Is that another present, or is that... That's a dick! And then you just have your dick right there. And you're all in the background. It's like... But you blend in with the environment. So it takes a while. And then they feel special when they see it. They're like, oh, he went through all of that. And with all the filters and stuff, I mean, you can easily blend yourself into the background. I hide dick, dicks in videos all the time. It's not a hostile penis pic, so... It's definitely a penis that comes in peace. And it's got some creativity behind it. The penis needs a new PR manager. It's just, over the years, it's gotten drugged through the mud, and it just needs some good, you know, press. If you ever see a penis in the movies, it's always a hostile penis. It's always a bad guy. It's always unwanted. It's never, so you never get a penis in a movie, and it's something that somebody actually wanted to, to deal with. It's normally something that's going to be a big problem. They're always so aggressive. Just mean, aggressive penises. I've been disappointed lately with my videos. I have felt that the last couple for sure have fallen short of the Mr. BPD brand. So this video was supposed to be a return to form, a return to classic Mr. BPD. That was my goal, my intention, and instead what I came up with was a whole video on dick pics and hostile penises. I don't know if that's a return to form or not. I'll let all of you decide in the comment section below. Be sure to go check out the description part of this video where you can click that link to get a Mr. BPD Keep On Keepin' On coffee mug. And until next time, keep on keepin' on.